cardboard so we can bring that. So we got to go like so we get a light to the forehead. Slow down each one. We'll get it. We'll figure it here. Are you dead? Yes, I am. Thank you, sir. All righty. So we have a landmine injury and then we reassess. He had massive hemorrhage on his left arm extremity condition. He has blast injuries to his abdomen, and so he threw in an MPA to secure his airway on wings. he's unresponsive. Okay. He doesn't have any access, so I'm gonna start working on the, putting him on the monitor, and getting access. Right. Right. Head is atraumatic, do I see any soot or anything in his mouth? There's soot in his mouth. Okay, is this, do I see anything around his throat? Nothing around his neck. Okay, nothing around his neck, his upper chest? Uh, it's, uh, it's clear. Clear, all right, and then his uh, right, right arm? Uh, right arm is atraumatic. Atraumatic, arm, and his left arm has the amputation. Amputation. All right, his abdomen is covered. And I'm gonna have to expose it to see what I'm looking for. And as you expose it, you see a lot of uh, full thickness burn. Full thickness burn. Okay. Yeah. All right. Almost. So we put burn dressing on that. One, two, three. All right, make a hole. One, two, three. But he needs to go in and he can send it for a department. Last injury. Any active hemorrhage anywhere that we see? Yeah. There was some on the chest. Pressure dressings on both the so chest and abdomen on the right hand so side. So penetrating wounds to the chest and abdomen. Blast injury. Blast injury. So he's penetrating wounds. Okay. Hey, buddy, I'm Dr. Flanagan. How you feeling? Is he talking to me at all? Okay, but he is responsive a little bit. All right. Let's go. How's his airway? Uh, his re know, respirations are shallow. Like respiratory okay. rate is 16. Belly. Uh, his belly does not appear to be distended. There's a fair no amount of blood hemorrhage. from the outside and with the pressure dressings on. Uh, he's got some other fragmentation injury. No other mass No other mass okay. Let's get him over to the STP bed four. Shrapnel to the chest and um, lower and abdomen on the right side. All right, I got him hooked up to the monitor. So what kind of vitals do I have? We got a pulse rate of a blood head. Blood pressure 76 or 64. Respiratory rate is labored 16. His pulse ox on the rear mirror you have him on is 89 percent. What did you do for I don't see any obvious cerebral spinal fluid from the uh, ears or nose. Damage to the mouth or is it coming out of the Yeah, he's got some blood in the mouth. It looks like he took maybe a little you know, small fragment or bit his tongue or bit his lip or something because there's some blood coming out. So I'm like, I'm in a lot of pain. This is getting worse. Can we start a morphine drip? Well, I don't know. Can you? I would give him morphine. Morphine? Okay. Yes. Is he for the operating room? Yes. Can I have a surgeon? Uh, Vitals, please. He's got worsening, most likely worsening compartment syndrome. Up. Down. Three injuries to the right chest and right abdomen. We have an IV started on the left arm. Uh, we, he's, he got normal saline in the field. Uh, we gave him two units of blood. He is intubated. Uh, his, he has a chest tube on the right side. Initial blood coming out of the chest tube was 550 milliliters. Quality increase. So, there's not blood coming out of the chest tube. Good. We suspect he's got an intravenous so source of bleeding. Up to a unit of blood right now. Clear. Yeah. How much? Yeah. Not much. 10 cc's looks like. Okay, I'm going to prep. OG tubes coming in right now. OG tubes coming in right now. How are vital signs going? Unit of blood is in. Pouring beta dye. Pulse has come down to 100. Scrub. Blood pressure paint. is 90 over 60. Okay. Respiratory rate is 16 as per vent. The saturation is 98%. Okay. Bilateral breast sounds? Bilateral breast sounds. Clear now. And then two liters warm number saline. We're going to do X lab. Blood's pouring out. Cool sucker, please. Suction. Okay, I'm opening the abdomen and sucking out a lot of blood. Tipper quadrant. We've got a little blood around the liver. Dark blood. 
nothing, uh, nothing continuing to seep out from that area once you've packed. Okay, and then I packed all four quadrants. How are my hemodynamics? Improving. Your heart rate now is 90. Your blood pressure is 100 over 70. Respiratory rate per vent is 16. Saturation is 98%. Okay. You got a little ooze. Looks like it's coming from the other side. Okay, I'm going to take out the right lower quadrant. Do I see anything? Looks good there. Okay, let's get a Pringle ready to go. So then we will try to control whatever the bleeding is. It'll be either IVC, portal vein, or maybe just enteric. How's our vital signs? Vital signs now are a heart rate of 105. Blood yeah, pressure yeah. is 90 over 50. Okay. Respiratory rate is prevent 16. Right. Sats 98. All right, starting the third unit of blood. Okay, I'm gonna unpack. Okay, Go so you may yep. lose some pressure. Ready? Suction, please. Heart rate is 120. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go up above the diaphragm, right at the hiatus, and I'm gonna compress the IVC. Third unit is in. I'm getting ready to hang the fourth unit of blood. And now what happens? Things kind of slow down a little bit there. Another one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna compress the distal IVC. Okay. You know what's happening? Your blood pressure is uh, improving slightly. It's a uh, 90 over 50. Heart rate's about 110. Okay, I need you to hold this top one, please. Do not 